High Violinists of YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing the new Dominant Pro by Tomastic. I'm gonna do my best to review these strings. This is a, an official unboxing. I did a video of my first reactions of the Dominant Pro a little while back, and I'm gonna leave a card up in uh, the top part of the video so that way you can check that out. I got these strings in the mail just the other day. Really looking forward to it. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. It helps me out as a content creator to provide more violin tutorials and product reviews for you. Right, so we have this box here and I got an entire set, a full set with the carbon, what is it? It's the E10 on carbon steel and then the A, D and G strings on full synthetic. So this is a full set of violin strings from Dominant Pro. So. I got these in the mail the other day, and first impressions of the box, it's very nice, it has a nice matte finish, um, feels very premium compared to the original Dominant line of strings. I actually was not a fan of Dominance for a very long time, just because, like I said in my previous videos, I don't like the, the, the bow hair noise underneath my ear. It just bothered the heck out of me. Also watch a couple of YouTube videos on people playing the dominant pros. And you know, strings are a funny thing because strings can vary from violin to violin. So the dominant pros that I'm gonna share with you, like the sound today, may sound different on your violin than it does on mine. So let's go ahead and unbox this. So I'm gonna take the tape off here. So it actually has this nice opening box right over here. Really cool. And it has this dominant pro pamphlet. Or no, this is actually the string. Wait, or hold on a second. We actually have a description of the Dominant Pro string line, and we have this big brochure. It's very <laughs> long, and it just shows what the sound charts of each string is. I like the way Tomasic describes their strings, and on the back here, I actually didn't get to see uh, share this with you, but on every single Tomastic uh, full set string that I know of, it shares with you what kind of sound you're going to get. And you actually get the same thing off the Peter Infelds. And uh, let's say the sound over here is actually on the more, uh, the warmth and brilliant side. We have the sound beam, which is a little bit more focused. The playability is easy. So I'm really looking forward to understanding how it feels under my fingers because I'm actually a big fan of the Tomastic Rondos. And I actually have those on my instrument right now. I've had those on for like, a very long time so actually this is the it was a good excuse to buy a new set of strings for my violin because I just needed an upgrade and then we also have the break in time which it says it's leaning towards a shorter side but not as short as you would think and we also have the sound colors which we have a scale from pure and clean to rich and complex and it's leaning more towards the rich and complex over here like I said before the Tomastic has like an entire string sound chart and you actually you can find this on their website to determine what kind of sound you're looking for depending on what kind of repertoire you're playing and specifically what will match your instrument the best based on what we have here we have a variety of options for e strings and in this particular video i have the tin but it also comes in uh, a carbon steel actually this is that's the carbon steel that i got it has a gold string, also has a platinum string, and the platinum is has more projection. As I said before, with the bone noise, it shares how much bone noise you're gonna get between the silver and the aluminum strings. And it looks like with the silver strings, you're gonna get less bone noise. Um, with the metallic component, with the silver, you're also gonna get a little bit least for the DPO3A silver string, and then the aluminum, you're gonna get a little bit more. So the bow noise is gonna be, actually, which, what string do I have here? I have, uh, I have a DPO4, which is also silver. So in this set, I got a D string and G string silver aluminum A, and then carbon steel E, which, very interesting combination of materials that we're gonna be using for this demonstration. This is what the strings look like um, in this individual packaging over here. This is the E, this is the A, this is the D, this is the G. Um, I, this is very uh, premium colors, you know. I, I like the, 
I like the styling of the packaging, even just holding it in my hand, the boxing is the matte box. Um, you can definitely tell that this is definitely an upgrade from the dominant. It was, I, I made a joke in the, in the previous video when I was doing the reactions. It would be really funny if, the, if Tomastic and their team just, it's gonna be a dominant pro plus or a dominant pro plus plus. I think that would be like hysterical because their entire announcement of the dominant pro strings sounded like an Apple announcement. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool. You know, they're trying to kind of bring it to the times. All right, so now I'm gonna be installing these strings. So give me like five minutes. So here we go. All right, so I got these strings installed. And uh, this is something new that I've never seen before, but the colors on the, on the bottom are all black. You might, you might not be able to see this, but it's really all black here. Um, and uh, I haven't tried them. I just started plucking them and so that way they're in tune, but let's see you the first sound. Here we go. Gotta tune it a little bit. loud they're very loud strings and um, right now I'm using leatherwood rosin I'm not using a very expensive bow but let's see uh... I'm not a fan. I don't know how I feel about this G string By the way, the break in time says is not like a very short amount of time. So they might sound better like within a week or so. We'll see. Right now, I'm not really a fan of this tinny sounding. Actually, I don't know what it sounds. I'm using like a very uh, tiny external mic, which it's not a big condenser mic. Maybe in the next review, I can I can use my actual condenser mic. Let me know in the comments section if, you, if that's something that you want. Um, yeah, I have to keep tuning. So what do you think of these strings? I mean, they sound very like out of the box. They are, um, they sound tinny to me because they're brand new strings. My experience right now, the, um, sorry, there's a loud motorcycle driving by, but my experience right now is that it feels very nice on the fingers, similar to the Rondos. My sense is that they might, you know, finally like break in within the next week, week and a half. I'll do another video in a week so that way you get um, a comparison. <laughs> So obviously they're not in tune, right? Because I just installed them. But let me know in the comment section, what are your first impressions of the Dominant Pro strings? Um, this is an entire set of Dominants. And these are the GD Silver, A Aluminum, and E Carbon Steel Tin E. And um, I'm, I'm not sure what to make of them right now, but hopefully in a week they'll sound better, they'll open up. Again, let me know in the comment section what you think the initial sound is like. And if you like this video, thanks so much for stopping by this channel. Again, my name is Eric, I do a lot of violin tutorials, I do some vlogs and product reviews such as this one. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. It also helps me out to provide more free videos for you. Also, if you're not signed up for my mailing list, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below for my website, so that way you get notified for any upcoming concerts, any courses that I'll be releasing in the coming months. So you definitely wanna be signed up for that. And again, if you're new, make sure to check out some videos right over here and right over here for you to take a look at. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.